All right, welcome to my lecture in calculus. This is on logarithms. From section 6.2, oh, excuse me, 3. Okay. And I just want to go over an example, and uh, we're going to go over the example y is equal to log base 2 of x. So my question to you is, let's make a table and get a feeling for what the graph of the logarithm looks like. Okay, and uh, it looks like I switched those two, so it should be x and y. Okay. So here I'm going to put in the value of 1. And my question is, what is log base 2 of 1? Well, if we say that's equal to y, then that's equivalent to 2 to what power equals 1? That's what the logarithm asks. And you'd see that y has to be 0 because 2 to the zeroth power is 1. Okay. So when x is 1, y is 0. What about when x is 2? Well, let's have a look at this. Let's redo this. Okay. And instead of having 1 there, I'm going to put 2. And this asks 2 to what power is equal to 2? And you'd say, well, y equals 1. So that is the first power. Okay. Well, what about 4? Well, let's try this again. Log base 2 of 4 is equal to what? Well, Log base 2 of 4 is equal to y, means 2 to what power equals 4? And you see, well, y needs to be 2, because 2 squared is 4. Okay? We can keep playing this game, and we can go to 8, and we'd see that our answer is 3, because 2 cubed is 8. And so this is asking you if you input an x, like a 16, what powers of 2 give us 16? And you'd say, well, 4. And we can keep going in this way. We can also go the other way. And we'll see that, like, the 1 half power log base 2 of 1 half, that's negative 1, because 2 to the minus 1 is 1 half. We can go to 1 fourth, and we'll see that that's negative 2. And it can keep going in that way. But one thing that you should notice is that the logarithm is not defined... for any negative numbers. And so for example, like log base 2 of minus 4 equals y, well that doesn't exist. Because this asks the question 2 to what power equals minus 4. And it's impossible to raise a positive number to any exponent and get a negative. So this is impossible to get a negative. Okay. What I'd like to do now is to graph this. Okay. So let's Let's do some lines and grids and make a nice little graph of this. Um, so before I proceed, is that this note, what that means is that the domain uh, 
of log base A of X is the set of X so that X is positive. Okay. And now let's proceed to make the graph of this log base 2 of X. So I know that when X is 1, Y is 0. So we'll put it right there. And I apologize that this graph is not the best. So let me try and improve it. Oh, I just completely erased everything. Okay, so... Okay, so that's much better. Okay, so when x is 1, y is 0, so it's right there. When x is 2, y is 1. When x is 4, y is 2. When x is 8, y is 3. Okay, and then it keeps going. We see that when x is 1 half, y is negative 1. When it's half of that distance, it's negative 2, etc. So the graph of this looks something like that. And two important things to note is that for a greater than 1, the limit as x goes to infinity of log base a of x, that is infinity. Uh, then what this graph indicates right here, this portion as x gets closer than 0, but is always positive, is that log base a of x is equal to minus infinity. You can see that the graph gets more and more and more negative, and that's indeed the trend. Okay, And this is again if a is greater than 0. Okay. Now there's a couple of properties of logarithms I'd like to remind you of. Here's one of them, and it says a to the log base a of x is equal to x. Okay? And also, that log base a of a to the x is equal to a. Here's a little bit of an example. If I have log base 2 of 2 to the fifth, that is just the exponent 5, which here is denoted by x. Okay, so a to the x, which is exponential, and log base a of x are inverses. Here's a couple other properties. Log base a of x times y is equal to log base a of x plus log base a of y. And if we have division, we get this. Okay, and here's the last rule. If we have x to an exponent, and these are all base a, okay, then this is r times log base a of x. Okay. Now, when the base a is equal to e, to the first power, which is approximately 2.71, then we have a special um, a special symbol for log base e 
of x, and that's just ln of x. Okay. Okay. And one last one that's more minor is that there's this thing called the change of base formula. which says that log base a of x is equal to ln of x divided by ln of a. Okay. Um, one th other thing that I'd like to note is that since um, ln of x and e to the x are inverses, they are both one to one on the on their domain. Okay, so you might see just a few concept type questions, like you might be asked to find the exact value. Of log base 5 of 125. And in order to, to, to solve this question, this asks 5 to what power is equal to 125? Well, it's useful to remember that 125, that is 5 cubed. So y, which is the output, is equal to 3. And then we can say, hey, the answer is 3 right there. Okay. So that might be something that you see. You also might be asked to solve for x, okay? And you might have an equation like this ln of x plus ln of x minus 1 equals 1. And the trick here is that we can combine this. This will be ln of x times x minus 1 is equal to 1. And this says uh, ln of x squared minus x is equal to 1. Okay, so now I can convert this into an exponential or take the exponential of each side. And this, because these are inverses, I just get x squared minus x is equal to e. Okay, and now we have x squared minus x minus e equals 0. And you can ask, well, how do we solve this? This is just a quadratic formula. or quadratic equation, and we can use the quadratic uh, equation to solve it. And the quadratic equation would say this is a minus a minus 1 plus or minus the square root of minus 1 squared minus 4 times 1 times e divided by 2 times 1. And we can see... Oh, and by the way, there is a negative sign here, okay, because that's a negative e, okay. And so now we can do the algebra, and this is going to be like 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4e divided by 2. And you'll have to take it from there and determine what that number is, okay. Um, other types of questions that you might see could be something like this. 
you might be asked to calculate some limits. Okay. So here's another type of question you might encounter. You might be asked to calculate the limit and here we have this limit as x goes to infinity of this ln of 1 plus x minus, and that's an ln there, And we want to determine what this is equal to. Now, if you just take the limit of each, what you would wind up with would be something like infinity, because the ln of 1 plus x is infinity, minus infinity. Okay? So don't, the moral of this story is don't just evaluate. Don't just evaluate each limit because we get something that we don't know, which is infinity minus infinity. I don't know what that's equal to, so that's why I put the question marks. So here's the better thing to do. I'm going to do some algebra, and that algebra is with these limits. So I'm going to get the ln of x plus 1, and when I have a subtraction there, I'm going to divide by x plus 5. And I can take the limit of that. Okay, So this is going to be this limit as x goes to infinity. But the trick here is that I'm going to take the limit inside the logarithm. So I'm going to put ln right here. Okay, And I'm going to take the limit of x plus 1 divided by x plus 5. This is a rational function. And in calculus 1, we saw how to compute this limit. So this is going to be ln of this limit as x goes to infinity. And I have x plus 1. But the trick from calculus 1 is to multiply top and bottom by the leading power at the denominator, which is x. So I multiply top and bottom by 1 over x from calculus 1. And this is equal to this ln of this limit as x goes to infinity. And I'm going to have x over x plus 1 over x divided by, well, x over x plus 5 over x. That's just how the algebra works with this FOIL, okay? And I'm going to get this ln of this limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 over x is 0. So now I'm taking the limit of each piece so I apologize. I'm evaluating the limit. So I don't need that limit sign there. And in the denominator, I again have a 1 plus 5 over x as x goes to infinity is 0. So I'm left with ln of 1. And ln of 1 says, what power of e do I need to get 1? And the answer is 0. Okay. So this limit evaluates to zero. I like to point out that I can have a limit that evaluates to any number that I want. Okay, it could be negative, it could be positive, anything that I wanted. Okay, and that's the limit. And that is all that I have for this section. So thank you very much for joining me and have a good one.